What's up everybody? Tiffany Outdoors here. Today we're going to make a crate for a man. Stay tuned. There's the hawk. Before there was a Tiffany Outdoors, there was Tiffany the farmer. Can you turn when possible? No, we're not. So what is a crate for a man? Okay, so I saw a commercial the other day on TV. The company was advertising these crates. And I went to the website because I wanted to order something for my brother for Christmas. And I saw the prices on those. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So I decided I'm handy with wood. So I'm going to make a crate and give it to my brother for Christmas. You guys aren't going to see this until after Christmas. But I'm going to make my own crate. I went and got the wood. And also, I can fill it up with whatever I want to put in it. And the cost effectiveness would be more than if I had ordered one of those crates. So, let's get this project started. Let's go. The wood I'm using for the crate is these 1x4 and they're 39 inches long. These are actually bed slats, but this, this is going to be perfect for what I'm gonna use it for. So my crate is gonna be 12 inches by 12 inches, and I also got this here, this little piece here, and it's just to use it as a nailer to put all four sides together. I'm gonna to start off by cutting these down to 12 inches, and I can get three boards out of each one. I have all my pieces cut. Now I'm going to use my sander and sand down the edges just to give a give it a nice smooth finish. So now what I want to do is I have some scrap three quarter inch plywood that I'm going to use for the top and the bottom. So I'm going to lay my boards out. Now this is important, guys. You have to. All right, you're going to lay them out however you're going to arrange them. Whether, let me pull you in, guys. Pull you in close. Whether you're going to have the ends butt up like that, or if you're going to stagger the ends, like that's going to be on the inside, this will be on the outside, like this. You're going to have them like that. Where it, that's going to butt that way and that's going to butt up going this way. So once you get that figured out, then trace around the outside and then cut out for your top and your bottom. Cut out two identical ones. Got my boards cut, so now I'm going to take my sander and go around the edges and clean up the edges and make sure that there's no splinters on here, and then we'll go from there. Now that I have my top, bottom, and the sides cut, now it's time to paint them. I'm going to be using as close to or Panthers blue. I'm going to be using a blue, this blue here, and black so I'm painting half of my boards black and the other half are going to be blue
all right I'm losing daylight out here so I painted both sides of the boards now I have them put away for drying I'm gonna come back tomorrow and we're gonna start assembling this and I'll show you guys the nice handles that I bought for this thing this is gonna be awesome all right I'll see y'all tomorrow all right so I have my pattern figured out what I'm gonna do is do alternating blue and black boards so this first run I'm gonna have blue on the outside and black on the middle and then on the next run I'm gonna have a blackboard here and a blue board here so all I'm doing is using my corner clamps here to get get some pretty good 90 degree angles here and then I'm gonna glue them and put in some brad nails I've glued and put in brad nails for each corner and then I joined the two corners together to make a square. Now that this is dry, I'm ready to move on to the next step. Now that I have my individual sides, I'm just gonna stack them up and try to line them up as best as I can. Now I do have a slight wobble here, but that's okay. It's fixable because I can press down on that and I'll show you how I'm going to connect all of these sides so that wobble is not going to be a huge issue. I've decided that this is going to be my bottom. So I'll put my in here and check to see how well it lines up. And then I'm just going to glue and put in some brad nails all the way around. All right, you guys remember this strip? What I did was I painted it black, and what I'm gonna do is cut it down to smaller pieces to fit inside the box and use that as nailers, and that's what's gonna hold the three sides together. So first I need to take a measurement from inside the box, and we're at 10 and a half inches and I'm going to cut it just slightly below that because I want to make sure that this that the nailer is is lower than the top of the box so I'm going to cut it a couple about two about a sixteenth of an inch shorter than the uh, than the top of the box I've got my little piece cut my end is not painted so I'm going to put a little spritz of paint on the end here there we go. And I'm going to let that dry. Okay, here's where the tricky part comes in, guys. you got to really pay attention to which way you stuck your brads. Now, mine are going in this way. So, I'm going to put this nailer piece right here along the front edge here. And then I'm going to nail my next brads here. Now, the reason why I don't put it on this side is because I don't want... To run into the brads that are already in there so to avoid that I go in this way parallel with the ones that are already in there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue here and put in some brads Got one in, and now I'm going to measure and cut for my next one.
I found these at mm, either Lowe's or Home Depot. But I figured that these had like a masculine feel to them. So I'm going to put those on here. I've measured as best as I can. It might be a little bit crooked, but <laughs> as best I can, I'm going to drill holes and put this in. Y'all, those handles look amazing on this. They look so good. I'm glad I picked this nickel finish. It looks so good on this black and blue background. So part of the appeal on these crates is the guy gets to use a crowbar and pry off the lid all manly like. I don't want to do that. What I want to do is I'm going to do put some screws in here. I'm going to put one on each end, one there and one there and just use some screws because I don't want nails sticking out because of my niece and nephew. I don't want them to get hurt on this thing and I don't want anybody to get scratched up on it. So I'm just going to use two screws. I'm going to be using my countersink bit to drill these out and line this up as best as I can as usual. Perfect. All right, now for the other side. I'll try and get them relatively lined up. I'm just putting this in with uh, two inch screws. All right, y'all, last thing I need to do is put my brother's name on this thing. My brother's name is John, and since the top of the box for a man is going to be black, I'm going to paint his name in blue. Alright y'all, this project is complete. Now all you have to do is put whatever you want in it. You can get as creative as you like. Now, it's not perfect. <laughs> it's not perfect, but oh my gosh, it looks so good. I love it. I think my brother's gonna love this. I really do. And those letters are so big, that's the only way his name would fit across there is to slant it like that, which is fine. It's fine. But now I'm gonna open this back up, put his gifts inside, and have it ready for him for Christmas. All right, y'all. Now to put the gifts in, I got him a Carolina Panthers t-shirt. Got him a new hat. A Carolina Panthers coffee mug. And I also, and I made these, I made these soup bowl cozies for him in the Carolina Panthers colors. So, put all that in there. And I'm going to put the lid on and tomorrow he'll get a chance to open this and I cannot wait to see his face. I made a Tiffany Outdoors crate for a man. <laughs> what? So, instead of man crates, it's a crate for a man. And so you just gotta take those two screws out. Okay. So that's what the drill's for. <laughs> what? What? Why? I thought it was yours because I thought you was gonna keep it. There you go. Okay. It's gonna go fast too, so. Dark, loose, dark. <laughs> the Panthers? <laughs> yeah. I made those too. Those what? are for your bowls when yeah, you. Yeah, those are the soup bowl cozies. You, oh, okay. I must know. Oh, I made those. Like mm -hmm. you know what? Wires out. Okay. Yeah, she sews. I don't. Every time I pull someone on my so you know how to use patterns? No, she doesn't use patterns. <laughs> awesome. Wow. Stop. Please. 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 Awesome. <laughs> 
<laughs> and there you yeah, go. Awesome. That was awesome. 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 And we expect you to wear <laughs> all of that <laughs> and drink out of your cup when you're watching the game. And I will send you the video. So that, y'all, is a Carolina Panthers crate for a man. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.